Hi and welcome to the world's shortest SEO course with myself, Damien Scattergood. Uh, I'm the Managing Director of Star Translation and I manage the SEO team here. So while this is a short course, you will learn two super important factors about SEO. Um, and let's start by looking at what SEO actually is. So SEO, or search engine optimization, is the process of getting your website seen online by customers who will buy from you. Sounds very simple, but let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So that sentence can be broken down into two very distinct and important parts. And these are the two lessons to learn from this, uh, this uh, training course. One, SEO is the process of getting your website seen online. So that means you get people to be actually able to see it first and then customers who will actually buy from you and then interact. So it's getting seen is the first part of SEO and, and getting customers to click and buy from you is the second part of SEO. So how do you get seen? So looking at getting seen, the number one objective is for everybody is to get listed on Google. So you're seen and you're ranked. You'll hear people talking about this. I want to be number one on Google. I want to be on the first page. I want to get listed. And that's all of this is the SEO process. Uh, and how you get seen and get visible on Google is a technical process and it's a system you have to go through. Now, one part of SEO, which is also important, is that you need to remember that you're competing with others. So this is a very long process. You can't just uh, come to a, a company like ourselves or an SEO company and say, SEO my site, and then the next week you get a, a, you know you get ranked a, 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 on Google. You know, uh, Anybody who tells you that, you, know, you, you should walk away from. Because SEO is an ongoing process. Google indexes the web about every day, 90 days or so. Can be a bit faster sometimes, but in, in theory, that's the that's the indexing it uses, right? So when you do something on your website and you you uh, you know change content or you you modify the page for an SEO uh, ranking or to improve the SEO ranking, it will take about 90 days for that. Uh, change to be impacted on Google so sometimes you know you might see yeah so you have to be aware that uh, it takes time you may sometimes do work but it takes time to see the uh, the benefits of that of that work it's a long game you play right and one of the things you also need to be very um, focused on in Google is or getting ranked in Google is to focus on your quality rather than your quantity you know people do you know oh, I'm, I'm ranking for 150 keywords or 5,000 keywords and you can do a lot of this type of work but fundamentally it's it's down to if you have your five or six keywords are you know even 10 keywords and you're you're doing well on those that's a good start so focus on getting good quality uh, keywords and good quality uh, links right don't play the keyword game of you know of trying to rank for everything under the sun uh, because it's too competitive the other part uh, about this is to remember you need to decide yourself where you want to actually be seen so Google is not you know the only game in town Google uh, at the moment uh, has about 87% of the world's traffic uh, but there are other systems there that are Bing, Baidu if you're going into uh, you know China, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo for people who prefer a little bit more privacy um, so there are different different engines and different search engines so you need to decide if you want to optimize for them or even if you want to advertise on them as well um, so that's something to think about in, in your mix so delivering SEO results is, is done by a couple of different things. First of all, you've got to write good content. Uh, so your website has to be engaging and it has to be written in a way that's technically good for, for SEO. And if you want to learn more about that, you can just search on the web for how to write for SEO. And there are plenty of tools and systems uh, that will teach you how to write good content and SEO type of content as well. Um, some of it is uh, you know, it's down to where what words you use and when you use them. You can also hire an agency like ourselves or, or, or a specific SEO agency uh, and they will do the, the job for you. Uh, and they, to be able to do that, they need to be able to log on to your site, uh, you know, edit your content uh, and then be able to tailor it for, for the engine and the results that you want from your site. Uh, the key thing is that you should decide what you want from the site before you engage with an SEO uh, company. There are tools you can do this yourself. Uh, there are plenty of uh, tools out there that you can use to learn about uh, SEO. You can use SEMrush, SEO Profiler, 
ahrefs and even alexa um some good websites to follow is search engine land is one so i follow myself and it's, it's quite quite good and moz is another one right um and certainly you should uh, follow Google's search liaison on Twitter. This is Google's official account uh, where they tell you uh, all the changes and, and things they implement uh, on the, the Google uh, search engine. Uh, so it, SEO is not a black and white process. It, there, there's a, Google has many hundreds, hundreds of factors that they use to rank sites. Uh, so it's not always as simple as you may think. So the, no, the number one learning on, on the first part on getting seen, right? Is that it's a technical process so you need someone who's technically minded to be able to do your seo um, and that's be that that can deal with the the complexities of the websites and deal with some of these tools and deal with google itself so that's that's sort of the process of that's lesson number one it's a technical process and it takes time so how do you know when you're successful if your SEO company is successful and you're good at SEO, you will show up in the SERPs, what's called the Search Engine Results page. So in these, you'll see uh, a title at the top, so where I've searched for the word translation services. And here are the, 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 the pages that, have, that Google has sh shown for, for, for that term, right? So this is effectively how you know you're, you're, you are, uh, you're doing a good job. So, but this is only part one. This is getting seen. So people will see these but will they click on them? So let's look at the next piece. So when people see a, a SERP, so a SERP actually has two key parts. The first part uh, is the, uh, the title tag, and you can see it here, translation services for documents and websites. And the second part then is the page description and is ready to go global, looking for professional translation services, etc. right? Now, the page, those meta tags are pulled from your website page so they're actually the two most important tags on your website so a lot of seo people don't you know drill into this but they should this is the number one thing you need to know about website seo your title tag and description need to be really really good so because this is what google is pulling google indexes your page and it pulls these two tags and that's how it generates the serp results right or that's how it displays the SERP results you know we're not talking about getting ranked here we're just talking about that's what Google displays to a real person you'll see that text so this has to be about 55 to 60 and this has to be about 155 to 160 and make use of every single uh, character you have you see in this example we have three dots that means our text is a little bit longer than Google liked so it's just clipped it on us so we need to decide have we done the best thing here or can we improve that text so spending some time on your serps is really really important because if the serp is good people will click on it and clicking on it means that there are interested customers or valued customers coming to your site and the number one thing to remember here is that you need to write for people so this is not about seo or technical words or technical stuff or keyword stuffing make sure that the keywords are there but that the text is written in a way that real people will read and say yes i'm interested in this and i'll click on it and have a look at that site and there are tools out there that will help you like yoast for example if you're using wordpress um, and yoast has a lot of good stuff on their web websites even if you're not uh, a yoast customer you'll learn a lot about how to write good serps on their site and finally, you can actually, believe it or not, you can check your own SERPs to see what Google says. There's a site keyword. So in the uh, uh, Google URL bar, if you type the word site and URL of a web page that you want to have a look at, Google will show you what it has indexed for that particular page. And this is very, very important so that you can check how each of your pages on your website is displayed. You can actually search for your, your uh, generic website by site, hbwwstarts.com, for example, with our address, and that will show me most of the pages, but you have to scroll through the pages. It's better for SEO to actually just look at an individual page and see, see if the page matches the SERP. So when I click on services, languages, and translation services, that's what I expect to see on the page as well. So you should be following through and analyzing your site like this. So in summary, this is a very, very short course, there are two key things you need to know. Is one is the technical part. So the technical SEO process is something you need to go through. And there are lots of presentations around that. Um, and we'll be doing one shortly ourselves. Um, and that takes time. 
And the second part then is the human part that you need to write text that's clickable, that's attractive to real people. Because somebody actually has to read your text and it has to be of interest to people. So getting seen is one part and getting people to click is the other part. And that gives success. And success basically is once you've got the visibility and you have the traffic, then you're on your way to getting more customers and having successful websites and a successful SEO strategy. So I've been Damien Scattergood. I manage the SEO process with Star. Uh, and if you'd like to know more, please feel free to give us a call uh, or visit us on our website.